I greet you all, Your Excellency the Mayor, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank the contribution of our fathers and forefathers that they made to the First and Second World War. My father was a veteran of the Second World War who fought in Nyasaland, which is the current Tanzania, and Mozambique. And thank God he returned safely, and this is the product after the war. So for the tribute on behalf of East Africa, I request my colleague Innocent to give it on behalf of Uganda High Commission. Um, the Mayor, Lambeth Council, members of the Diplomatic Corps, distinguished guests, lovers of the great African movement, ladies and gentlemen, it's a bit of a challenge. I'm very cognizant of the fact that it's soon 11, past 11, so um, a minute to that, I would like to be reminded to cut it brief. We are all here gathered here for a noble cause to celebrate the centenary of the end of the First World War. Indeed, Uganda, like most African countries, contributed enormously in terms of human resource. Our participation bore fruits that have yielded that current day Uganda is proud to be speaking about. We particularly contributed four battalions to join the King Africans Rifles that fought in Abyssinia and Burma. With this, Ugandans through the interaction took the war as a turning point in our struggle for independence. We are somehow glad to the white community for involving us because it created awareness that when we returned from the war, we demystified the white man and fought for independence like the rest of the black community. Ladies and gentlemen, Uganda High Commission is committed to working very closely with the Black Cultural Archives. It's our sincere wish that we take the opportunity that we have today to build on the struggles that half our fathers put for before us. It's in our interest that we try to write our history in line with the great speech, and I can quote our dear leader, Martin Luther King. In his words, he said, the ultimate judgment of a person is not in terms of well-being, but hardship. Let us not stick our minds into how, how we have been ostracized, how we've struggled, for how long shall that be? We need to rechange the history. I would be very proud if 50 years from now, 100 years from now, the Black Cultural Archives of Brixton exhibits the best scientists who are going to space, who are blacks, the best professionals. Let us not waste a lot of our energy in crying so much about the past. Yes, injustice has been done to the black community. But every challenge should be an opportunity. We should motivate ourselves that our, far, our grandchildren to come, these little ones, they'll be exhibiting the best of African community. Africa or the black community is known for poverty, disease, wars, is that the true picture you want? A no. hundred years down the road, should we stick it to that past? No. No. We cannot do an injustice to ourselves as the black community by exhibiting that. Let us change our own history. Let us work forward. We encourage the little ones to be the glory of our great continent. I thank you. Yeah.